air, you rose into the mystical side of things. You could no longer live with us. We put you in a little home where they shut and locked the door, and at night you blew out and went wandering through the sea and sand. People cannot keep air in. I blow air in. I cannot keep it in. I read you a poem once, and you called it beauty, and then I read you another one, and you called it harmony air. My brother is not air. He is water. He is not a baby. He is older than me, and when he brushes the hair from my face, I cannot see him, but he surrounds me. I cannot see you, baby of air. I put you in your bed and you get out. I put you in the air and you blend. I put you on the beach and you blow out, like an air bird, flying and flying. I find other things similar to you, and like you they are air and are nothing eventually. I am not made out of air. I hold your baby body in me, as I am a mother to you. I am a mother to you. My brother is my mother. He tells me when I have lost you to grieve, grieve. He says grieving is good. He says crying is good. He says sadness hits you in waves of water and air. I feel your fine hair hit me when I am sleeping. I feel your hair hit me in the head. Will you remember me when you breathe upon the other world? Oh, you are already there. Oh, you are already there. My brother tells me you are already there. He is already there, he says, and he cries, and I and he tells me it is okay to cry. It is okay to cry, he says. You are not made of air. It is okay to cry, he says, when you are not made of air. And I'm just going to end the reading tonight with a poem called Wild. Things are wild here, everywhere around the green, snakes, bobcats, and foxes. The purple flowers look wild. <coughs> I am wild. My husband keeps me in his room so as not to upset the neighbors. The wildest thing about me is my arrogance, which turns to anger over language. People put so much stock in wild language. I wander an animal over hills. The civilized past, the orange sun. Do I dare mention God in this poem? God is wild and not human. And when people make God human, he stares at you through the eyes of a bear and beats his terrible bearded chest and guffaws into the stars. Oh, the night mysterious and purple, and the shining rock. None of them are sins in their lack of humanity. So why am I so horrible?